Hi. Hi, Thomas. You're looking better today. Yeah, I'm having a really good day. Good. Anyway, last we talked, we touched on a, a subject that I think we should get back to. Okay. This idea of rage. I'm super chill. I don't have a problem with rage. Well, don't you think that's a front that you maybe put up? I don't think I agree. What makes you angry? I don't know. Think. Actually. Go on. I freaking hate eating sounds. Oh. Yeah, people eating. Mm. It's called misophonia. Misa what? Misophonia. It's a condition. It's the hatred of sounds. It just so happens that I hate the sound of people chewing. I don't hate animals chewing, but people. It's a double standard, but I've never heard of that. Go on. Well, it's right up there with phobia and anxiety. So you tell should... me when you started to have this illness. It's a condition, not an illness. But when did the illness get started? <sighs> when I was three. My grandfather would chew his food in such a way that would just make my skin crawl. The sound, it would make me angry. Wow. And then my parents would come to me and go, what's wrong with you? You're disrespecting your grandfather. Why are you looking at him like that? And I'm like, I don't know. I just hate it. I just hate it so much. Mm. And they would be like, you're just fussy. You're just fussy. Stop being so fussy. I'm not being fussy. Do you think I like having this thing? And don't get me started on the theater. Oh. What is this fascination of eating in the theater? Someone will will have a candy wrapper. Someone will eat popcorn. I mean, popcorn. Who invented popcorn? If I have people behind me or by my sides, it's surround sound. I can't concentrate on the beautiful film uh -huh. or play that I'm watching. No. It's... Huh? And of course, I feel bad now because no one in quarantine can go to the theater or cinema. Yeah. And I wish I was in the cinema. And you know what? If I was, I would buy popcorn to drown out the sound because that's the kind of person I am. That's a real thing. Of course it's a thing. It affects everything. My social life, my relationships. I remember when we used to take planes. But imagine a 12-hour flight Go on. with someone chewing gum. Yeah. Torcha. Jeez. Yeah, now I just feel guilty. I mean, I wish I could be outside and see people. <laughs> I just want to switch this thing off. That's it. You don't mind if I eat, do you? I haven't had a bite to eat since this morning. Uh. Uh, go on. Uh... Yeah, as I was saying, uh, the train and the, the bus are the worst. Uh, if someone's chewing gum, I have to change my seat. Can, uh, can you just stop that, please? What? It's revolting. Stop, 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 stop. What? Please, 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 please. Stop that. No, 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 no. Stop. No. Stop that, please. I'm sorry, I didn't think it's the same. That too. It's all soft and ripply. It's not like... What? Listen. It's called shock therapy. Look, stay with it. Just relax into it. Ah! It's not the same. It's totally different. How about this? Ah! How about this? How Feel the sound, and then you can feel the sound. Yeah, I'm afraid you have it. What is it called again? Misophilia? Anyway, we're going to have to double up your sessions. This is serious. Uh, look, maybe even twice a week. Uh, how about Thursday? Is that going to be good? Maybe like three, Thomas? Hello? 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 Thomas?